World of Dentistry. Dental solutions for your dental needs. Hello to all YouTube viewers. Today, we have a very important topic of interest, dental avulsion. What happens when a tooth is completely knocked out of the mouth? How can we act quickly and save the tooth? No one is exempt from suffering an accident that affects our teeth. Dental avulsion is an emergency that occurs when a tooth is completely dislodged from the socket, generating astonishment and despair in those who experience it. To better understand this condition, let's first look at dental anatomy. The tooth is divided into two parts, the crown, which is the part visible above the gums, and the root, which is below the gums and holds the tooth in place. Dental avulsion occurs when a tooth is completely dislodged from the socket due to trauma. This leaves an empty space where the tooth used to be. Usually, the most affected teeth are the upper incisors, and most cases occur in children between the ages of 7 and 11. The most common causes of dental avulsion are associated with trauma, such as falls, sports accidents, assaults, and traffic accidents. These situations can generate significant force that causes the tooth to come loose. But what should we do in case of suffering the dental avulsion? Here are the first aid measures that can make a difference and help save the tooth. Step 1. Pick up the tooth carefully, holding it by the crown and avoiding touching the root. Step 2. Rinse the tooth gently with water or milk to remove dirt, avoiding rubbing. Step 3. Try to replant the tooth in the socket calmly and gently, maintaining its original position. Step 4. If reimplantation is not possible, keep the tooth moist by biting down on gauze or placing it in a suitable medium. Step 5. Seek emergency dental care immediately to receive proper treatment and increase the chances of saving the tooth. Remember that while you arrive at the dentist, it is important to keep the tooth moist. You can carry it in a glass of milk, a saline solution, or even inside your cheeks with care by keeping it moist with saliva. Treatment for an avulsed tooth will depend upon the first aid performed. If the tooth was successfully replanted, the dentist will perform the following steps. Step 1. The dentist will take an x-ray and perform a clinical checkup to make sure the tooth is in the correct position. Step 2. A splint will be attached from the avulsed tooth to the neighboring teeth with a wire, providing stability and allowing it to stay in place while you heal. This process can take 7 to 10 days or longer if there is a bone fracture. Step 3. The condition of the dental nerve will be evaluated. In most cases of dental avulsion, the neurovascular bundle is completely disrupted, meaning the tooth is left without a blood supply and will require future root canal treatment. If it was not possible to replant the tooth, the dentist will take other measures to advance recovery. Step 1. The dentist will rinse the tooth with saline solution. Step 2. Local anesthesia will be applied to the affected area. Step 3. The dentist will replant the tooth using the proper techniques. Step 4. A splint will be placed to hold the tooth in place during recovery. Step 5. Review appointments will be scheduled and a possible future root canal treatment planned. In case it is not possible to reimplant the tooth, there are options to recover the lost tooth. This may include the placement of a removable denture, a fixed bridge, or even a dental implant. After a dental avulsion, it is vital to follow the proper care for a speedy recovery and to avoid complications. Here are some recommendations for post-dental avulsion care. Take prescribed antibiotics to prevent infection. In case of pain, take analgesics as directed by the dentist. Maintain a soft diet to avoid damaging the affected tooth. Avoid extremely hot or cold foods and drinks that can cause sensitivity. Avoid biting down with the affected teeth and use them only for light chewing. Maintain rigorous oral hygiene by gently brushing teeth and using dentist-recommended mouthwashes. Avoid activities that can cause new injuries, especially contact sports. Consider the use of mouth guards during risky sports to protect teeth. 
It is important to schedule periodic checkups with your dentist to evaluate the recovery of the avulsed tooth. It is recommended to visit the dentist a month, three months, six months, and a year after dental reimplantation. Remember, although losing a tooth can be distressing, taking the proper steps and seeking emergency dental care should increase the chances of saving the tooth. Dental reimplantation is an option with a favorable prognosis. Do not hesitate to seek professional help immediately to receive the necessary treatment. That's all for today. We hope this video has been useful to better understand the today's topic. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more information.